Oh yeah. Hey, what's up everybody? It's yours truly, Trey Hardy, aka the Trigger Trey from the good old Killer Instinct Squad. Today we're playing some more of that the Dark Pictures Anthology, The Devil in Me. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Let's do this. Okay, so yesterday wasn't really any action, bit of exploration. Kind of like what I'm doing now, so. It's my spec cap. Exactly the same? Well, it suits me. Right now, we're supposed to go to the bar because this guy's tripping over cigarettes. Oh, we're going to search this room real quick. Ah, homeboy getting evicted. Oh, yeah, he was talking about that in the last video. There's anything else in this room? I'm aware of that spot on my green screen. It's the sun coming in through the window, hitting the other side. Nothing I can do about it. I even put the curtain up. It's just bright outside. Let's read this. From the best selling author of Shroud of Innocence comes a thrilling reimagining of one of the history's most merciless massacres. Kill them all, God will recognize his own. July 22nd, 1209. In just one day, the peaceful city of Beziers has been plunged into massacre. Tyrant crusader Simon de Montfort is determined to purge the city of all practicing Cathars by the most horrific means necessary. Deep in the Church of St. Mary Magdalene's hidden caverns, a last remaining group of Cathar Perfecti have hidden away but can't hide forever. The youngest Perfecti, Father S. Criven, if that's right, has come up with a desperate plan to escape with the help of his lifelong friend, Catholic Police Murret. It all hinges on a fine balance of bravery and faith. Gripping, thrilling, his theory come alive. This is Hartley at his finest, the Herald. The Yellow Cross by T.S. Hartley. Hold up. Maybe I can close my front blind and it'll get rid of that bright ass sun. Nope. Okay, screw it. We've been here for what? Three minutes now? Let's get out of here. Thus, I can pick locks. So, I know you said it wasn't a thing, but that bank notice... You're fixating, which normally I applaud, but not about this. I mean, you'd tell us if we were in danger of losing our jobs, right? It's television. Everyone is always in danger of losing their jobs. Breaking down walls, navigating the maze of anxiety. Fine. Erin, please. I've squared it all with the I'm not going to read this one if you want to pause the video. I'm going to skip salary. read it. Not me. Well, but you have to let this go. We're I'm a fast here. reader when okay. I'm reading to myself. like a business card. one of those coins you've got to be worth something
Oops. I'm gonna be doing some exploring while she's doing all that walking. Don't want to miss any clues or any dark pictures. Okay, it's the email about coming to the island. Oh, I gotta look at the back of it. I gotta look at the back. There's always something on the back. Secret found. Hey, Charlie. I was hoping next season maybe I could do more with the sound design, more creative stuff. Erin, what you already do for this company is very valuable to us. Carrying your Zero bags one seven and picking up your laundry? Absolutely. To get ahead in this industry, you have to pay your dues. Show you're ready to muck in. Sound like you're trying to get her to I, trick. I think you should get an assistant. An assistant? Oh, it was just a stupid idea, Charlie. I'm an just... An assistant? A personal assistant? Sort of. And then I could help out with the editing. Pardon me? The editing? I suppose I should be thankful. It's just my cigarettes that are missing and not our gear. The audio mix. Look, I just think you've got so much to give, so much experience. And it's an opportunity to pass that knowledge on. Right. Yes, I suppose it is. And an assistant wouldn't lose my cigarettes, would they? Okay, hotel check-ins. So, do you still want to direct movies, Charlie? I am directing. No, but I mean real movies. With a big budget and big stars. Erin, there's something important that you have to understand. In the work that we do, the very important work, the truth is the star. Oh, right. Yeah, sorry, Charlie. So you don't want to direct movies. Can we move on from this? Oh, you so you can pick locks. Okay, nothing really important. Looks like I searched a room. Looks like we're getting out that way. I can find a way to get out. Maybe Mr. Dumet is in the back office. You could just ask him about cigarettes. Yeah, think.
Anything back here? You know what? All this talk about cigarettes is starting to make me want one. You can like get the fuck out my way, bitch. Get your ass out my way. Someone did check in here, right? Jackpot. Erin, I found the key. Hmm. Of course, I walked past it. Why don't I go check for a gift shop or something? I've already had one asthma attack today, and this dust farm is exactly what I don't need. A gift shop might have cigarettes. Exactly. Had a girl. This dude Hello? is really hell bent on these cigarettes. Mr. Dumet? Oh, shit. That was his death. Homeboy is getting barbecued. Nice and crispy. I'm Chester Bell, Assistant Director at the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Oh, I'm gonna go get me a cigarette since this dude want one so bad. Approximately 0530 local time, a team led by Special Agent Hector Monday and supported by law enforcement officers conducted a raid of a motel room just outside Birmingham, Alabama to apprehend Manny Sherman, the man known as the Beast of Arkansas. Using state-of-the-art psychological profiling techniques, Special Agent Monday and members of his task force not only identified their suspect, but predicted his movement with unerring accuracy. I'm delighted to say we have our man. There's someone at the bar, I see him. Just walking around looking for clues. Oh, pack yes. of smoke. Yes. Oh, of course it was exact change. Damn it. Wow, an animatronic. Ha, that's what amazing. What will it be, Mr. DeMath, sir? <laughs> I'll have a packet of cigarettes, please. A packet of cigarettes, please. Hello? This is just getting creepy. Hello? A packet of smokes. I figured it was too good to be true. Never mind. Thank you, Robo Bowman. Certainly, sir. Whatever you wish. <laughs> no fucking way. I don't suppose you've got any spare change back there, have you? Thought not.
My boy is really wanting them cigarettes. Well, let's find search the bar for a quarter. Already peeped that picture on the wall. Okay, okay. Okay, that's not going to work, so... There we go. Ah, fuck. Next round's on me. Promise. My boy really want them cigarettes. Oh, that's some bullshit. Wait. Wait. Oh, no, 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 please, come on, no. Find a way to get the cigars out of the dispenser. Oh, yes. Oh, thank you, Lord. Uh oh. What? No, come on, you piece of shit. Don't do this to me. <clears throat> Antique rubbish. Give them to me. Give me my cigarettes. Right. Uh oh. That's it. I'm going to go and get my key grip, and they are going to kick the shit out of you. Hey, Charlie. Yeah, I'm still in the bar. I think it's dinner time. We should get everyone else. Okay, I'm coming. And I'm coming back for you with a fucking pry bar. Are you alone in there? Who's that behind the bar? What? Whoa. Well, all that made me want a cigarette. Hey, I had a thought on an intro segment. You want to shoot now? Yeah, if we get it shot and in the bank, maybe Charlie will stop rewriting everything I come up with. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sure. What? Nothing. Just give me a sec, and I'll be good to go. I'm supposed to buy nothing is eating away at you? Yes. How many times have you cleaned that lens? I'm just prepping my gear. Really? Yeah. Always focusing on the detail, Mark. What about taking a huge risk and just do something? I watched you fuss for a whole week before you turned down that job offer, all because you had to take one extra train to get there. Uh, it wasn't the right move. The job wasn't the right move. The train thing confirmed it. Flimsy. I don't buy it. You don't have to buy it. Come on, let's just shoot this. Let's use natural light so we can do it alone. Didn't the lobby have skylight? I don't remember. I just want to look decent. So reassuring you look good in my light. You look good in any light. I'm not worried. Are you trying to butter me up? Yes. 
Is it working? Marginally. <laughs> I'll take it. Ark, why are you letting them all think I broke up with you? I feel like if Jamie knew the truth, she might back off. I mean, they all just assumed. I can't decide if that's sweet or selfish, or both. So can I say something? Before we... Look, can I say something? We agreed that we're sticking to just the job. Right. Which is why you can't just roll up and drive by psychoanalyze me. I... Okay. You're right. That wasn't fair. I'm sorry. We don't need to rehash stuff. Let's just work. Let's go supportive. No, you're right. I, um... You're right. We agreed. I'm sorry. Look, let's go find some light and get started. Thanks for doing this. You're only asking me because your arms are too short for a good selfie angle. My arms are not short. <laughs> Where to? Uh, the balcony would make for a cool angle. Let's find a way up there. How's the new place? It'll do for now. Do you like it? Search for photo opportunity, okay. Short term lease, so I can take my time to find something I really like. That's mm, smart plan. You said I needed to be out, so I got out. I was complimenting you. Yeah, no, just saying. I was worried you'd be sleeping on the couch in the studio while you obsessed over finding the perfect place with the right wall color near the proper train station or bus stop or... Maybe we should just add this topic to our discussion no fly zone list. Can I, like, scan photos or shit? Yeah. You're probably right. So, since we can't do it tomorrow, is next weekend okay to come and get my stuff? Whoa, there, bucko. I was just checking for light. Remember our talk about boundaries? I need my room to be my private, safe place. Sometimes I'm glad we went to therapy. Other times, it makes for some weird-ass rules. Yeah, that was definitely weird. There's something back here. Like a torture room. It's like another picture. Okay, I got another premonition. I wonder why she the fuck she was standing like she was waiting for a picture or something. So if Dumet catches us in here, are we breaking one of his rules? He did say not to go wandering. And we did practically bust the door down and get in here. We? So maybe we oh, should take care. Probably. Huh. <laughs> Guess we're not totally alone. Yeah, I feel like Demet is the kind of dude who loses his shit if you break his rules. Oh, what was your first clue? When he took away our phones like we were kind of teenagers? Whoa, motherfucker! Shit! 
<laughs> Let's get the fuck out of me. Well, see the devil, the troop behind America's first serial killer. I'm gonna speed read this. Lorette? Balcony. Look at this wallpaper. This is old as hell. Everything here is old as hell. I was expecting an old exterior, but remodeled inside. Looks like Dumet is trying to preserve <coughs> things. Can't be easy all the way out here. I like antiques as much as the next person, but at some point you have to give up the ghost. Whatever that meant. Rod is gonna set in. Right. That's it. What? Well, since we got here, I've been smelling something faint. Can't place it. It's decay. Old house. Island beaches with dead fish, animals in the wood. Could be anything. Whatever it is, it's dead as hell. See what's on the other side of the... I feel we're not supposed to be in here. I hear footsteps. Let's head back out of here. Can I jump back down? No, it's like I'm stuck in here. No, 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 go down.
Look and figure how to get the fuck out of here. Looks like I'm stuck up here. Oh. Okay. A little puzzle solving, I see. Reminds me of that one mission in God of War 3 we were inside the uh, the stomach. It took me forever to find out what to do. This should work. Mark? You okay in there? I'll be right back. Put you there. <laughs> just swore there was someone just standing right behind me. Out of all the characters in the game, I gotta be the black dude who's going someplace he ain't gotta be. He ain't supposed to be. You can do 
this. Okay, now we can get out of here. There's got to be a way through. No creepy ass is standing there. Whoa. Just come on. It's not that high. My vertigo is saying otherwise. Thought we were in a hurry. Thought we were in a hurry. We are. But if I look like shit, we'll just have to reshoot it. <laughs> okay, check this out. It's his hat. Who? H. H. Holmes. <laughs> oh, shit. Fuck. You okay? No. I just. This motherfucker thing popped out of nowhere. Okay, I kind of saw that one coming. See? What is it? Some kind of animatronic? Yeah, a fucked up looking one. It can't hurt you. It scared you. It scared you twice. No, it only got me drumming. once. It's eight. Dinner time. Damn it. We didn't get anything. There's still time. Come on. Let's not keep Charlie waiting or we'll never hear the end of it. Hey, be civil with Charlie. He's the one who chose to be uncivil blowing up on me when all I did was my job. I'm the one doing the talking on camera, not him. Come on, you came in hot on him and you know it. Not that you're wrong, but you know he meets anger with more anger. This is on him, Mark, not me. We're tired of watching you fight. The rest of us are tired of watching you guys fight. And I'm tired of having those fights. He's just jealous. Jealous? Yeah, he doesn't like that I'm the one getting invited on to talk shows. You mean talk show? But point is, I'm the one people see on screen, so they want to talk to me, and he's being a baby about it. I can't say half the shit he writes. It may look good on the page, but there's more to it. I'm trying to help, and he throws it back in my face. Because you're... Because he thinks you're just trying to get content for your showreel. What if I was? Oh, uh, let's see. That's how directors have to be. It's their job. They have a vision. Ego has to play into it a little bit. That's why I just shut up and point the camera. That doesn't mean he has to be an asshole. No, but imagine if you were in his shoes. 40-something still waiting for your big break. Kate. This show is the closest he'll ever have to success. Yeah, that's kind of harsh. Doesn't matter. One way or another, I am moving on from Lon at Entertainment. So I thought we'd move on together. I guess I thought we'd move on together, like a team. Mark, look, this isn't your passion. It's just a job for you until you get your name out there as a photographer. 
You can't expect... I know. I hate this shitty documentary stuff. Charlie has got a clue about how to frame a shot, let alone tell a story. And get on with it. You're right. Charlie would replace us in a second if he wouldn't be inconveniencing himself. He's using us. I deserve better than this. So do you. We all do. Kate! Mark! Dinner is on. Aren't you hungry? Yeah, on our way! Great. Did he hear us? Obviously, Mark. Oh, got caught talking all that shit. <sighs> now, what the fuck is this? The fuck was that? Hey guys. Think it's okay if we pour some wine? God, please do. Has anyone seen Mr. Dumet? Shouldn't we wait for him? Just poor Mark. It's just saying, let's all just relax. Reassuring. Let's all just relax. We just sat down. Give the man a moment. He's the host. <laughs> Him not showing certainly tracks with every other lawn and entertainment inside source. Come on, Kate. Hello, Mr. Dumet. Dinner time. Ah, oh, Mr. Dumet. I love what you've done with your hair. We started on the wine. Hope that's all right with Dumet? you. Dumet. Yeah, back to it ain't coming. Wait. What? Why? He saw all the snide things you tweeted from his limo. I didn't. What are you talking about, Jamie? He got back aboard the ferry and left. What? When? Right after we got to our rooms. He just left. You're sure? Can't be. You must be mistaken. I'm not blind. I know what I saw. Why would he leave? That makes no sense. They're in a big ass hurry. Guess you were right. There was some kid here. I saw them together when I was looking for my room. Must be his kid, right? Didn't he say something about family? I don't remember. Either way, why did they leave? Does that mean we're the only ones here? Why would he invite us here and to dinner and then just leave? Oh no, sounds like your average father when you're growing up in the hood. I'm sure he has his reasons. Who knows what could have cropped up? Maybe he ordered pizza for dinner and the dock is as far as they deliver. This could work to our advantage. How? Well, think about it. We're still here, surrounded by perfect visuals. The plan is still on track. There has to be a legit reason he left. We shouldn't leap to conclusions. Or maybe he's just plain crazy. It wouldn't be the first time Charles booked an expert who's nothing more than a serial killer groupie. Not that I want to agree with you, like, ever. <sighs> But that's what I've been saying. Demet is no damn good. But that doesn't explain why he stitched out on us. He had to go back to establish an alibi. <sighs> what are you? You know, so when our bodies wash up on the other side of the lake, he has plausible deniability. Mm. Oh, God, Shit. Jamie. Can you stop trying to make this worse? You're not helping. OK, fine. Just don't come crying to me if you end up dead. What is wrong with you? I'm just saying. I guess you never found your cigarettes. Mm. I'm gonna say the machine was broken. The bitch of it is, I did find a machine, but just like everything else in this fucking place, it's ancient and broken. So what are we doing? We just gonna sit here and pretend to eat? What's the plan, Charlie? Maybe if we all just sit here quietly and wish really hard, the magical post-production pixies will just assemble a cut for us and send it to the network. What? Let's raise a glass to the post-production pixies and Charlie's brilliant plans. <sighs> You're so enthusiastic. Now, I would like to toast all of you. Really? 
I know that I'm the butt of your jokes, and that's just my cross to bear as the patriarch of our little family. Mark and Jamie, the two of you do the work of a team of 10. And Kate, despite our bickering, you are the heart of this show. You keep people interested. And Aaron. And finally, to our I'm going to be pity about Ellie losing cigarettes. Would be lost without you. Who else could we trust to remember every little detail? Thank you all for your hard work. Cheers. Cheers. To us. Mazel tov. What we can get here can take the show to the next level. Sure, if we have time to get it all. Yeah, he totally heard us. Nah. There's no way he'd say all that nice shit if he heard us. Maybe we shouldn't talk about it right this second. You brought it up. <sighs> what was that, Kate? Nothing important, just spitballing some ideas. I think she'll look best if we can really make the backgrounds look as creepy as possible. Shouldn't be hard. Um, does anyone else think it's weird? Dumet hasn't showed up yet. Yeah, I don't think he's coming. What do we want to do first, Charles? You're the boss. Thank you. I think it makes sense for us to start in the lobby. There's still decent light to work with, and it's symbolically where things would begin in the murder castle. With what light's already in there, we just need to set up a couple of our own. We can make it look as if it were lit by gaslight. Perfect. What if Dumet shows up? I'm gonna say authoritative. If he tells us to stop, I'm gonna be having a strong word with him. He's put us in this position. All right, everyone grab what they need and we'll meet in the lobby. Let's be as professional as possible from here on in, please. No mistakes. Perfection. If he comes back, I don't want him to see us fucking about or arguing. Good call. We're on it. Right, guys? Fantastic. I love to hear that. Shouldn't take me long at all. Great. Great. What the hell? This dude making like dolls out of everybody. Okay, this is creepy. Oh, is that mentality, I mean, not mentality, uh, anxiety book again. All right, some breathing techniques. Or just put your...
put your headphones on. Oh, or Another premonition. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. This is some bullshit right here. Not only can I not see where I'm going. Oh, that painting looks like there's a door here. Okay, fuck this.
Okay, that's getting louder. Oh shit! Breakers. Shit. Hello? Mr. Demet? Now this game is definitely getting creepy. Okay. Might be time to join the 21st century, guys. Yeah. the creepy maintenance room in the creepy hotel on the creepy island to shoot a doc about serial killers all alone and without my stun gun yeah i don't know the code choices jamie make better choices this is your own damn fault enjoy your memorability i can never pronounce that memorabilia dude ben at killer Bernalia. What do you buy? Motherfucker bought a hat. Some type of construction invoice. Just walking around the door. <sighs> the 
breakers. We'll find a damn code to that thing. I already read that earlier. Maybe the code's in this drawer. Hmm. Katie's getting creative with Charlie's script. Yep, it's a script. That bitch breathing loud as hell, but I don't blame her. Got another one of those coins. Pretty fast reader, as I mentioned before. Oh, the back of it. Oh, yeah, I read this earlier. Maybe that's the code right there. Try it.
Mm. <coughs> Another puzzle. Looking for numbers. Hmm. Seventeen forty one, eighteen ninety six. Nope. Tell me I missed this the first time. Oh. That was stupid. Zero four five one. Oh, thank God, something from this century. Okay. There we go. Looking, Jamie. Little electrical drama, but we're about good to go. This looks great. Very gaslight. Mm, if we had a <clears throat> some oil, I could get a good flicker effect going. This will be fine. I just got a bit more to do once Kate's standing there. Should be more than a few minutes. Where's everyone else? Where's everyone else? Well, if they're smart. They're walking down here as we speak. I'm about done. I can go round them up in a minute. Ah! What the hell? Hey, hey, help! Uh oh. Uh -oh. I can't get the door open. I, I I can't get the door open. Get me out. Okay. Right here. Calm down, Erin. You're all right. I I can't. I can't breathe. Relax. Slow deep breath. In and out. Erin? Right I'm gonna say, just open the door. Just open the door! Move! Move, Charlie! We're here, Aaron. 
Just try to stay calm. Count your breath. One, two, three, in. One, two, three, out. We need to break through this thing. Guys, I, I can't. Don't look for something to knock the door down. Me and Mark are trying to force it open. Uh oh. Who's there? <gasps> the fence of get away from me. Get get away from me. The inhaler. Oh, uh, I'm not trusting him. They destroyed the inhaler. Just breathe. Just. Breathe. I wasn't trusting that. Hey. I feel if I'd have reached out, he would have killed me. Okay now. You're safe. What? Did you see him? Come on. <laughs> he. He was. Somebody was right there. In there with me. Aaron, it's just a dummy. No, it was not a dummy. He he had a hat on, like H.H. H. Holmes. Charles, you're working her to death. Now she's hallucinating shit from the show? I did not. Nothing bad happened, Erin. You're okay. No one is in there. Let's all just calm down, get Erin back to her room for a rest. I'm not fucking tired. Let's go. Come on, Erin. Then we're being watched. I think it's a copycat kill. I don't think the actual H.H. H. Holmes is back. There's the curator. Ah. There you are. I think Erin's shown signs of serious pluck, wouldn't you say? Now, where's our wayward host, Mr. Dumet? Apparently, he's left the island. How very rude not to stay for dinner. Charlie managed to rally the troops, though, and a good thing. That motherfucker that left us on this damn island with a killer. Challenge. For all I know, Dumet is a killer. He ran away to make it look like he wasn't. And it can be frustrating to watch. In some ways, I envy you. I only record events. You get to shape them. You'd better get back to things before one of our friends makes a poor choice on their own. Curator only shows up when the character's about to die, so it's like I saved someone. Let's just all take a deep breath and not lose our minds. No, Charles. We're done. This has been weird every step of the way, and now it's getting scary. Ugh, oh, relax. I'm serious. Everything about this is off. Kills me to admit it, but Kate is right. Somebody tried to attack Aaron. We don't know that's what actually happened. I know what I saw. In the dark. You think I'm making this up? Everyone relax, okay? Just give me a second to think. Excuse you. And exit stage left, our oh-so-confident and sure leader. What was that? <sighs> Charlie is thinking, which looks a lot like a temper tantrum. Maybe he's right. If we don't crush this episode, we're all screwed. Are you kidding me? What? I'm just I've saying. I've been waiting on you for ages to actually make a decision about something. Anything. And now this is when you suddenly choose to take a stand? Sorry. Maybe I'm crazy. But if Aaron says somebody came for her, I believe her. We're not safe here. It was just a dummy. 
You think I'm lying? Really? I think maybe you're just confused about what you saw in the dark. I know what I saw. Right. Here's the plan. We've already got a plan. It's leaving. Just listen. We cannot jump to conclusions. I'm going to go and find Dumet and get clear on everything. Everything is going to be fine, OK? And we're going to get the footage we need. He didn't show for dinner. What makes you think you can find him now? A positive attitude. You should try it sometime. Bravo, Charles. Your delusions make for such great plans. Demet left. I saw it, remember? Maybe he's back now. Maybe he's not. Would it kill you to think positively just once? I guess as far as Charlie ideas go, it's not the worst he's ever had. It's not even the worst idea I've had this evening. Don't go patting yourself on the back. <sighs> I still think your priorities are fucked. Yeah. Whatever. This guy cares more oh, about this stupid I'm show. With you. Wait. They're staying alive. Do you have to go? I'll be right back. Promise. Just stay put so I know where to find you, okay? I don't care what he says. I'm done. I'm getting my shit together. Okay. I'm leaving, Mark. You coming or not? Aaron saw someone. Okay, you're right. Sorry. It's just Charlie said... We're not safe here. That outweighs having a damn job. You're right. Let's go, Aaron. Everything's gonna be okay. Wait here. Can't you just stay here while I pack up my stuff? I don't want to waste any time. I'm right around the corner. Let's all be quick. We'll be right back. I promise. No, don't... Uh, sorry, just... Still freaked out. Can you leave it open so you guys can hear me? Of course. So she could have been the first to die. Okay, genius. Where are we going to look first for Demet? I'm not looking for Dumet. I'm scouting for shots. If he pops up along the way, great. Jesus. Alrighty, this is Trey Hardy here, aka the Trigger Trey from the Good Old Killer Instinct Squad. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Looks like we finally got into some action this time. Some jump scares. If you've been watching, please hit that thumbs up, comment down below, hit that subscribe button. Very much appreciated, and uh, we'll see you in the future on some more epic gaming adventures. Peace.